What is up people, this is Zubas HQ and today I'm going to take you through, through setting a private VPN on your Raspberry Pi. So there are, so I'll be using the Pi VPN. This is a form of open VPN which is made specifically for Pi. So I'll take you directly to its GitHub page. The GitHub page will be linked down in the description. So Pi VPN is a custom script, a set of scripts which would install the OpenVPN software and it is much easier to install it this way than installing the, Pi, uh, the OpenVPN so for the installation there is just one line curl minus l and we'll select this whole thing and paste it into the SSH now I'll wait for it to complete Now let's clear the thing. Now all we have got to do is copy this line and paste it over and click and enter. So it will receive everything and it will start the installation process. Now the blue screen, it would be our installation guide, it would, it would guide us through the installation and configuration of all the things that are required for installing the Pi VPN correctly and for our users. So this will install, this will install 9 packages for the same. Now we'll go through the installation, we'll click on enter, then it'll, it'll check if the IP is static or not, which I did earlier, I turned it to 109 and hence it is static. Next it will open the configuration, um, I'll be using the Pi user and hence Pi, then attend, attend. now in this step, it would ask if it should uh, install any security updates, which I'll be going with yes. Whenever you're going to install this, just make sure that you have a lot of time on hand because this will take min minutes, if not hours, to install.
This whole process is also dependent upon the uh, Raspberry Pi that you have. I have the B plus the first model. Now if you go higher to 2 or 3, this process will take quite less time. Now it will ask you for the protocol UDP or TCP. I don't know much about TCP, hence I'll go for the default. I'll enter the default port as well. Next, it will ask me for the in, 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 encryption strength. The 4096 is the highest bit of en encryption. 1024 is the lowest and the 2048 is the middle one. I'll go for 2048 because it is secure and it won't take as long as the 4096 so i'll just like enter and now it'll start doing its thing so i'll s s now this process this can take up to hours depending on your pi i have a b plus model and hence it'll take me a lot longer than if i use the pi 2 or pi 3 the pi 3 would take the sh shortest amount of time as it has the has frequency processor and the best processor available on Pi's. So I'll see you guys in a minute. See there, it's it has started generating a 2048 bit RSA private key. Now this key will be generated. I'll click on OK and I'll start its thing. Okay, so after about an hour, this is finally done. Now, my um, my service provider uses a dynamic IP, hence I have to use a DNS entry. So I'll select that and click enter. Now, the public DNS name of the server. So it's my server. So I just start my type the DNS server's name I click enter it'll, uh, it'll, conf it'll ask for the confirmation I'll I click in yes and then there are multiple DNS clients available like Google open DNS level 13 DNS watch not and etc I'll be using open DNS Okay, now it's almost done. Now it will ask to reboot. Just click in yes. And it should be done. After the reboot is done, the only things you have to run is pi, VPN, and add. This will ask for client name. I put in virus HQ. Okay, so it won't take, it would, it would only take alphanumeric. So let's get virus HQ. That's it. The password. That's it. Now to generate an RSA private key. And this can be used anywhere on your phone, tablet, or the PC. So thank you people for watching this video, like this video or dislike it, subscribe to the channel, share it, go through my other videos and see you next time, tada!